A change to the Extreme Forecast Index products for Cape and Cape Shear will be implemented with the new model cycle 47R1. The sampling size from which 24 hour maximum values of Cape and Cape Shear are derived for computing the EFI and SOT will increase. To compute the EFI and SOT, maximum values of Cape and Cape Shear are derived for each 24 hour forecast period. Currently, the EFI and SOT are based on instantaneous Cape and Cape Shear fields in 6 hour steps. In the new model upgrade for the EFI and SOT computations, new parameters will be used which provide maximum values of Cape and Cape Shear for the previous 6 hours derived from hourly model output values. This will improve the representation of the 24-hour maxima by better sampling. After the implementation of the new cycle, the EFI for Cape and Cape Shear will use these new parameters without changing the naming. New EFI and SOT fields will generally show better the level of extremity of the forecast due to better sampling. Now, the EFI can exhibit a stripy structure in the case of fast-moving cold fronts with a lot of convective activity as in the example shown here. This is an issue as the cold front is not jumping but it is moving continuously. Using the new parameters removes the stripy behavior and provides a smoother and more realistic forecast field due to better sampling. To filter out anomalous but insignificant signals in the EFI, Cape values less than 10 J per kilogram are set to zero. Now, Cape over 10 J per kilogram will happen more often and therefore this may show up on the EFI as shown in this example.